the second one will go for is venture finances so these are the uh, variables which we have so there's a venture financing case study we are taking so where, where you have date you have sector you have type year of date average amount funding amount and number of deals so i have the date of the financed when i was given the money which sector did was it biotechnology e-commerce retail what type of money it was it was the first set of money the second set of money the final set of money or so and so forth year uh, average size funding amount and number of deals so what i did i tried to create a dashboard which 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 looked something like this oh sorry this let's see what is this i'm trying to create anybody so what i'm trying to understand from this dashboard so can somebody help me with this anybody what i'm trying to gain from this yes where to invest that is a nice answer what else yes risk high and low financing right roi from startup right which sector get lot of money right let let me see something more interesting so i'll do is i'll open the actual w files this is second file here when not to invest very interesting let's see so so i'll show you the data set again for your so please uh, you know picture this data this is a very small data set for all those who told that how big should the data is a very small data set and we will try to play with it and we'll come here so what i did is i tried finding out so i took year on my one axis i i the color represent the group so what are the group biotech hardware industry software so these are the group so i want to see the group properly so okay so are, are you able to see the group on the side no all right so these are so if you can see here uh, i'll just pull it ha uh, so these are my groups biotech how does the color represent which group or which sector did i invest my money in okay okay the size represent number of deals not the amount of deal how many deals so it's it will tell me how many deals right okay and uh, and the trend so the trend is financing amount so this is the amount so my one axis gives me the amount of money the color gives me the sector i invested in and the thickness of the line tells me the number of deals right so the number of deal is 2199 average uh, funding amount is 1 billion dollar it and gives me the year right so what can i can i play with it can i do something more with it so i double so just a second uh, right so what i do is i try double clicking here and see what happens so am i will i be able to do something with this can i go forward with it let's see. so if i click on year it it will break into quarters and so but this is not my aim right now so this is one simple graph showing me three to four information amount funded which play uh, which sector and number of deals that is one thing so what i did i changed this a bit so i made year on one, one axis i made the funding amount on one axis i made it in area chart right same similar thing now what i did i gave, gave it a pattern or basically i created a band where i say that this is my dot com bubble era so during dot com bubble which where the sector which got maximum funding so and i i annotated all this right so these are annotations this this is one band i created and it says from quarter 1 1998 to quarter 4 1999 was your dot com bubble so you see there's a steep rise steep rise 
in the amount of funding or the funding amount and there's a fall because the dot com bubble bursted here and there's a steep fall here and then it fizzled out and so on and so forth right the third sheet shows me something interesting the third sheet shows that with number of deal increasing does the funding size increased yes so for few sectors like others for software with number of deal increasing the funding amount increased also but for few sectors uh, like say this is the uh, the blue one it does not impact more so so with number of deal increasing what has been my funding amount and i made a simple dashboard so this dashboard shows me a lot of things so this gives me a lot of idea and this is highly interactive so how this is interactive we'll just see okay so i i have my color here which is uh, which sectors you are talking about i have the number of deals here which talks about thickness so this um, will tell me the light it represent my line chart it it shows me how my bubble chart talks about it it talk you know you see i'm seeing almost all kind of money right now first sequence second sequence you can choose any i can i can only take so first sequence and see how the the market changes you can take year so you have the option of talking on year so oh what happened here Let, let's see so there's something happening here so what i'm changing the year so the moment i'm changing the year everything is changing so it's showing me annual data right right so we'll try to see something more so this is on so i i'll try to play with it right now let's see how can we play with it right now these are the sector if you want to see a particular sector you can choose one particular sector so for example i am only interested in biotech so this is how biotech behave so if the fall was very less but let me talk about let me see something called software so do i have software yes i have software so when i clicked on software it's only for software right so that is and again i told you you can change your date so uh, i want to see software for a particular period and so on and so forth you can do all this right okay so i was planning something interesting let me see if i have it here all right i have it here so I take date and do something i take date and put it in pages so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to so this is automatic this is an animation going on this is a trend animation going on right so for example let me let it reach somewhere then i'll try to show something more right so i don't want for all i just want to see software how does this behave so what i want i will make it bit fast and i want to see how does software trends so this is how software trend so this is my so this is a proper animation which you can have so this is a back animation and you you can drop trend lines and everything else so that is one additional thing which i wanted to show you you know right so that's the second data uh, you know sorry second tableau file which i wanted to show now i'll close couple of tableau file we know because otherwise the system will go slow okay i'll not save anything right so that was for my venture capital thing and this is my venture capital dashboard so this is one more chart what i wanted to show trend analysis versus so i did a unemployment thing total population unemployed population and workforce change in population over time change in uh, unemployment rate over time and so on and so forth so this is an extension of the last chart this is one again so profit deviation so why i wanted to show this uh, actually that in tableau you can directly calculate something called sorry 
So you can tableau and directly calculate something called calculated fields. You can create va variables here and do calculation and post it on the tableau. So that is once I wanted to show you. So I go to deviation, right? So, so I have created a variable which is called. Just a second, I'll just show it to you, right? So I have created a variable on the fly which is called profit de deviation. So, so what is? So this is a formula which I've used: total profit minus budget profit by sum of profit would give me profit deviation. Similarly, I've created one more variable. Profit minus budget profit to give me profit deviation, pro total deviation, and I've used these two to make this chart. So what I wanted to show here was you can create direct uh, variables here and do it. How so? How do you do it? Simple. Create calculated field and do your calculations here, and you can do as advanced as thing possible. You can even write R codes here directly and post your output, push your output here. So this was the reason. A reason I wanted to show this chart with to you. This is again trend analysis, multiple trend analysis at one go. So it gives me moving average, running sum of sales, running sum of sales and moving average. So that is one again thing which I wanted to show. Okay. So there is one crime data set which I wanted to show it to you, and then so I'll do it fast bit. So. This is a Chicago crime database freely available on net. I took that database and tried to uh, understand which areas of Chicago shows high, which kind of crime, and so on and so. Uh, and one more. Uh, so this is a trend of crime which I'm trying to show. So here I'm trying to see the kind of crime. So I'll just remove. Uh, so I'll keep one. Uh, I'll remove one, and you know, these are very heavy Excel sheet. So this is again showing me uh, the types of crime. So this is does not make sense. So I'll put it at color. So it shows me by color which all areas have which kind of crime. So assault is very high. So what I'll try to do, I'll remove assault ones and see what happens. So so it's okay. And what you can do is I can you know. Click on couple of these and sorry, so I can click on say top five and it's like okay these are high, so I can group them together. So I, I I find that okay these are one kind of crime. These are not two kind of crime. So club them together. So maybe uh, you know type one crime or type two crime and so on and so forth. So so I have clubbed them together. So again you can do one. So I'll I'll try to club one one more set. so you can again club them together so i'll try to club say few more so again group you can do it it on on the based on logic we'll we'll take this data set in details in our class and try to understand what we are trying to do i'm just trying to show what all are possible here so these are the things which you can do in tableau uh i wanted to show you node uh, sorry i i wanted to show you node excel also So this is Node Excel is basically more of a networking uh, stuff uh, where you can you know play around. Uh, this is an Enron database. Basically, when Enron scandal happened, who emailed whom, and we wanted to find out. So this you see this red lines when I'm uh, going forward. So who uh, emailed whom, and we'll try to find out who are the main culprit in the Enron scandal. So this was an email which we can use, and a lot of things. So. you can change the way it looks and you know a lot of things which you can do we can talk, we can change the thickness we can change the size we can change the color to represent various thing we can understand we can we can import our facebook information here directly so you know i can go to my node excel here and import my facebook data so i can import my twitter youtube flickr facebook and even linkedin data out here and make network charts understand who are the key people in my network how is my network broken into different uh, pieces i can cluster them i can group them so you know you can group them together based on cluster motif vertex attribute you can change the edge weight size 
even there are a lot of things which you can do. Means, uh, so the time is running. So there are a lot of questions today. So I'm not able to you know show everything to you. So you know you can do a lot of stuff here. Lot of I'll we'll will will take this as my last two sessions in my class.